Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing two of my favorite crock pot recipes, so let's get started. This is my first one. I call it the creamy chicken casserole. Actually, my friend Brittany shared this with me, so shout out to you. Um, those were the ingredients you needed if you want to go back and check that out. So I'm just adding the chicken. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. I'm going to cover the chicken in water. Set it to cook for about five hours. When the chicken starts to float, it should be done. Then you just want to drain it, add it back to your crock pot, stir it with your little hand mixer. That's my favorite kitchen hack. Then we're going to add the large can of cream of chicken. We're going to add a little bit of milk, about half a cup of milk. Stir it all together and then I let it cook for about an hour and in the meantime I'm going to crush up my Ritz crackers. Do this how you desire. I like to leave some chunks. Some people probably don't. I'm spraying down two pans with non-stick spray. That was my husband being annoying. I'm going to add the casserole into the casserole dishes. We are going to melt two huge chunks of butter. I don't really measure that out, so just two big chunks of butter. Add your Ritz crackers to the top and then pour your butter over the Ritz crackers. And then we're going to throw this in the oven, but only on broil. We're not cooking it anymore. It's already cooked. We just want the crackers to get crispy and turn out golden brown just like this. Delicious. I'm going to plate it up with some biscuits and dinner is served. Super easy, super delicious. The kids love it. Up next, I have barbecue pulled chicken sandwiches. Really good, really easy, very minimal ingredients. Salt and pepper on my chicken. I use the slow cookers from McCormick. It's optional. You don't have to use that, but that's what I use. I throw a little bit of ketchup in there. Cover it with water. Again, let it cook about five or six hours until my chicken is floating. Then I know it's ready. Chop it up. My husband's chopping it up. And then you just add your barbecue sauce. This is what we like to use, Sweet Baby Ray's. Give it a good stir. Let it heat up again, maybe about another 45 minutes. Bam, 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 bam. Dinner's ready. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. So yeah, here are two of my favorite crock pot recipes. I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.